Former Vice President Wu Duanyi today indicated he is considering entering the race for KMT party chairman a year or so in advance of the vote. If Wu takes the plunge, he would be facing off against current party chair Hong Shou Ju, who has already declared her intention to run for re-election. Party Vice Chairman Hao Longbing also seems to be positioning himself to be a candidate in the race. For the first time since he left office, staffers for former Vice President Wu Duanyi today released details of his planned future engagements to the press. The revelation that he might seek a return to active political life as KMT chair came as little surprise to most onlookers. Every day I have lots of interviews and lots of meetings to attend. My decision on whether to contest the office of KMT party chair requires more than one or two days of consideration. And for that matter, I need to first listen to what the public has to say about it. It's not only Wu who has been gauging public sentiment regarding a possible run. KMT Party Vice Chairman Ha Longbing has been busy these days dining and exchanging views with neighborhood leaders in Taipei. Ha has even been attending the birthday parties of local-level party members on recent weekends, a move viewed as an attempt to cultivate support among the party's grassroots. I personally believe that the most important things in this moment are how to accomplish party reform and how to govern so that we can build a connection with the people. I still think it's too early to be talking about something that's still a year down the road. Howe's reluctance in declaring his candidacy may well belie some deeper ambitions within the KMT. The stage is set for an engrossing three-way battle between Hao, Wu, and sitting party chairwoman Hong Xiaozhu for the leadership of Taiwan's main opposition party.